Okay, here is tips and tricks and strategies for Armor Alley, the web remake of the DOS game. I'm going to play the hard version because, hey, why not? So what is Armor Alley? It is a real-time strategy game. Your goal is to get a van, which you can order by pushing V, from your end of the base, uh, the playing field, over to the right-hand side. See over here? The radar, which is where the enemy is. Now, as you'll see, there are incoming enemy convoys and tanks and all sorts of things that you have to deal with first. So, it is a combination air and land battle with uh, multiple elements, and it's fairly difficult, but there are numerous strategies to win. So, what you have is you've got bombs, you've got uh, machine gun, you have heat-seeking missiles, you have heat-seeking uh, rubber chickens. I'm going to show you a little strategy here. This gun can't see me while I'm hiding in the cloud. And uh, if I stay in the cloud, I can sort of hide. I'm going to get hit by that chain, but you can see the radar I don't show on the enemy's radar. So that can be used to your advantage sometimes. Maybe I could drop bombs from the cloud, for example. I'm going to try to dodge this uh, anti-artillery here. Now, hide behind this bunker, take out a few of these tanks, and go to your base to recharge. Now I should start ordering in my own uh, convoy here, but I'd better stop this incoming one, make sure that the tank doesn't get into my base, and make sure the van especially doesn't get into the base, because if their van gets to the base, game over. So back over here you push T to order tank. M for missile launcher, V for van, I for infantry, E for engineer. And your ability to order stuff depends on having funds. Funds are it's like money. You earn funds um, at sort of a fixed rate, but you can earn more funds if you are further into enemy territory and also in the air at the time the uh, uh, fund timer kicks in, shall we say. So, the further you are out here, the more risk you're taking, and the more money you earn. So, here we have a new unit. This is a super bunker, and you need a tank basically to neutralize the super bunker first, and then you can use your infantry to populate it, and they will take care of firing. Now, what you're seeing here is I've dropped some infantry. I'm hiding in the cloud so the gun doesn't see me. The tank it has a very powerful gun, and they can take out turrets in a hurry. Now, you can land, and you can also pick up infantry. You push spacebar to drop them. Now, the parachute does not always open um, when you drop infantry, so that's something you <laughs> want to keep in mind. It's not always guaranteed. Here comes the enemy helicopter. Now, your missile launcher self-destructs and fires its own heat-seeking heat missile. And so that's kind of a handy remote defense. You can have a, a missile launcher to guard your convoys while you're out, you know, trashing the enemy's base or acquiring, oh, uh, doing doing other things out there. So I've just shot a balloon. You don't want to crash into a balloon. That will kill you. If you hit a chain, it'll take, uh, it would kill me at this point. Three bombs will destroy a tank. One shot of anything will take out a van. They're the weakest thing in the game. I'm getting low on fuel here, but I happen to know uh, that there is a uh, landing pad up here that I can use to recharge. So I'm just gonna, again, hide in this cloud. I can't hit that chain. Let's take out this tank. And then our tank will take care of the rest. Now, looks like the coast is clear, so I'm just gonna sit here and refuel. We'll let our tank do its job. Oh, here comes another missile. Now you notice the ground also goes white to indicate that you're being um, shot at. It only applies to heat seeking missiles. There's a bug. I'm take advantage of that. Sometimes the enemy dropper doesn't correctly turn around to face you. So hey, my bug means you're, uh, you benefit, right? We'll uh, refuel here. Alright, what's coming up? Now you see on the radar, right? White dots are enemies. Or things you don't own. So again, we'll just take up the tank. Now the enemy tanks, I should mention too, they have a little bit of an advantage over your tanks. So in the event of a shootout, you're either going to lose your own tank 
Um, or they may both take each other out. The chances are more often than not, your tank is is toast. So unarmed, without um, assistance. Okay, I really need to fix that. <laughs> All right, another super bunker, and then yes, there's another turret now. I can use heat-seeking missiles um, to take out um, turrets. Two, two of those will take out the turret. So I can just run up here, push an old C to launch a heat-seeking rubber chicken. It's my own twist on the the original missile here. And two of those will take out a turret. Now you've killed the turret, but engineers. Those are the guys down here with the backpacks. They can uh, capture and they can rebuild turrets. So you basically need to guard a dead turret against oncoming engineers, or you need to get your own engineers out there, uh, in, in which case they will capture and or repair uh, a turret for you. That's the only way to build a turret. Now you'll see here the enemy chopper was unfortunately bombing uh, my tank. We'll do that from time to time. Sometimes they miss, but usually they hit. So I'm going to build a little bit of a new convoy here. So you can see building and green stuff showing up on the left. Those are new units. Now here I would be about to lose... well I've already lost this... Um, both of these bunkers in fact. I don't own them. But that's okay because there's no... the tank is going to take care of this work. So let's just move on. Right, what do we got next? Tank. Let those that will be taken care of. Just keep building convoys. Here comes a missile. So that means there's another enemy convoy here. Now missiles you can dodge pretty easily vertically, and eventually they will time out. Now the advantage is when they die, they go neutral, and then they're, they're hostile to both sides. So if you luck and timing, you can generally take out a tank or other units. Now again this stupid turret has been rebuilt so I'm going to try to take it out and then again if I don't take out the engineers it'll get rebuilt so I'm gonna let the infantry pass but then take out the engineers so they don't rebuild it. I'll let them get started so you can see what happens. So they sit there and then this thing and then it starts firing so we'll leave it in a basically dead state of course. We'll do something risky in a moment here. I've got three bombs. Great. They're going to rebuild that turret, but whatever. Let's uh, hide in this cloud for a moment. Now, this is going the wrong way. If it were moving toward the enemy base, it could really um, do something sneaky, but let's, let's just see what happens here. Almost out of fuel. I'm going to try to land on the enemies. Just for a minute, just enough to get to the enemy. Oh boy. Now, since you're at the base, the enemy's base will just continue to shoot stuff at you. But, if you get it just right, you can basically sit here and cheat and refuel and steal resources. <laughs> this wasn't intentional, it just happens to work out this way. Oh, and that's the risk of doing that. Of course, the enemy chopper will respawn from time to time, and it may respawn, respawn right on top of you. So, the next thing I want to do, I'll keep building the convoy here. Now, if I keep building convoys, I'm going to run out of funds pretty soon. Tank costs five, infantry and engineers cost five. I think a missile launcher is three, vans are one. Oops. Oh well. Vans are two. Um, you have unlimited lives. Uh, in terms of helicopters in this game, the original, you got, I think, three. And to build, quote-unquote, a new helicopter, extra life cost you 20 funds. So, the, it was, the original game was quite tough. Alright, helicopters doing a lousy job of bombing here. Now you see, um, there used to be a bunker here, now it's just rubble. Um, it's likely that the enemy helicopter hit something there. Um, the bunkers can be blown up, so that is a thing in this game. Ten bombs, I think 50 rounds of ammo, 
and uh, two missiles will heat seek missiles will do it. You see the enemy chopper there hiding in the cloud for a moment. They do that from time to time. I'm just gonna let them chase. We'll we'll keep going. Uh oh, oh boy. Now it's gonna turn into a little dodging game here. Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna try to bomb this. This is not good. Ah, okay. Okay, that was that was rough. We're getting low on funds. My next strategy is hey, we're low on funds. Let's go steal some from the enemy. And you might be wondering, well, how do we do that? Um, so at the beginning, the uh, at the end of the uh, well, in your base, in the enemy base, there is an end um, bunker. It all, for whatever reason, I've always thought of it. It looks like a little turtle shell or something. And uh, it is basically where the funds are stored. And it's like a small version of a super bunker in that it's armed. Um, super bunkers have little guns on them, like turrets. They're armed by infantry. Infantry like this, they go into the little door, and then they arm the bunker, and the bunker will shoot at things that come near it. Uh, I think that's in fact right up here. So, oh boy, this is an interesting situation. Let's see if I can take this out. Alright, those tanks are gonna... yeah. Uh, tanks will try to neutralize super bunkers, but they can get... if two tanks come to the uh, super bunker at the same time from different sides, they can get into a bit of a, a stuck state where they'll try shooting at each other when in fact they're hitting the super bunker. So eventually one tank dies, the other one continues on its way, and the game proceeds as normal. So uh, super bunkers are the only... Uh, they can be armed, and then tanks are the only thing that can basically kill a super bunker. Uh, in the hard or extreme version of the game, uh, super bunkers will shoot at any oncoming thing, and they can be a real nuisance, because if you don't kill them first with a tank, they will trash your entire convoy. Oh boy, that thing's being repaired right now. Take that out. Oh crap. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to do that again. So my plan is to get some more infantry. And then we'll go and try to take that damn turret out. And then see about stealing some funds, because we're definitely getting low on the finances here. see on the radar. Uh, looks like a bunch of infantry. They're gonna shoot each other out. And it looks like our guys lost to one. No, not anymore. Let's see what's next. No. Oh. Okay. Now, I'm going to let the tank take care of this bunker, but you can see it's not friendly. Alright. I've got two... no, I'm only carrying one. Carrying none. Let's try that again. I have to be careful about this. You can pick up uh, up to... you can carry up to five, so you start with one. Um, each helicopter gets one carry-on infantry, so you can pick up four. And then you've got a full uh, set of five. So, looks like I got a little bit of time. Refuel quickly here. And then, oh, the enemy chopper was hiding back there. Let's, uh, whatever. We'll catch up and then take him out. Nope. Sorry, he's gonna. Oh! Alright, fine. Whatever. Not worried about that just yet. Has this been repaired? See, now it's being repaired, but we can stop it. Oh. Okay. So I bombed it. You can bomb these two. And my radar has gone out, and you can see it's being jammed. That's the one other thing that vans will do. So take out the van and get back your radar. So within a certain distance, they jam. There it goes again. All right. There should be a tank. I'm 
Let's see if I can hide in here. All right, all right, here we go. Let's try to just drop a whole bunch of stuff. Oh boy. I see those guns take out a few of those. Now since I'm hiding, that missile launcher shouldn't fire at me just yet. But at some point, I need, you know, to be repaired and fuel and all that stuff. So let's, let's just take a risk. Let's just roll in here and see if we can get away with this. Oh, crap. All right, so that tank is going to take out our tank. But hey, we stole some funds. So let's build up one more, maybe last, convoy. A little beverage here. Oh! Okay, well, I made a mistake. We already had a ban out there. And we got to the enemy base. So here's a gratuitous ending sequence for you. Lovely. And then some, you know, stats. Apparently the enemy took a lot more shots than I did. Way more infantry, too. Hmm. So up here are also some basic stats. I had eight live tanks, and this is just a sort of showing of the total number. Here's how many were active at the time. Shoot, well, I guess that's it. Hey, uh, maybe you learned something. Have fun playing Armor Alley.